Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to download the newest 2019 version of Revit for free and how to install it on your computer. Now you might be thinking but it's 2018 currently so how come we get the 2019 version? So that's just something that Autodesk does, they give out the next year's version the year before for some no apparent reason. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that and before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay so let's get started, here I am just in Google and I'm just going to write Revit free. So this is all you need to type and if you are you don't want to Google this, don't worry, a link for this is in the description of this video. So you get this link over here where it says free student software for students and educators. So if you're a student or just wanting to learn Revit, you can actually download a free version that you can install and it's completely legal. It's it's not a pirated version, it's just a regular Autodesk version and it's as far as I know it's no different from the original version of Revit. You just can't use it for commercial purposes. You can't make money from this. You can't do projects and then get paid for those projects and give out a Revit model. So this is just if you're learning Revit or teaching Revit, this a they kind of provide a free software. So that's really amazing from them. So we're just going to hit this link over here. And here you have this Revit software especially built for building information modeling. Uh -huh not important here you've got some system requirements so you might want to check that out I'm quite sure it works because I already have Revit 2017 so you need to sign in or if you don't really have an account you need to create an account so if you're just updating like me from 2017 to 2019 you just go ahead and sign in and if you're doing this for the first time you go create an account so I'm just going to go here to sign in. So I have already signed in and I didn't show you that part but it's just basically like creating an email address. So I just skipped over that for obvious reasons. So here now we have to install Revit. So here you need to choose the version and I'm choosing Revit 2019 because that's the latest one. You need to choose operating system so I'm just going to go with Windows 64 bit and for language I'm going to be going with English. Okay, so you just go down here and you click install now. And you get this license and agreement, you just go accept, install, and you wait for a second and you get this over here. So you just click on it and it downloads just something and you just go run. And now it's installing something. And after waiting for a while you get to this page so you just hit here install and now it starts installing. And then after a while you get to this. Now this is the important part so here you need to make sure that you checked material libraries and advanced material libraries and all the content libraries and you can actually open all of these up and configure. So you can uh, configure these libraries and make sure that you only check US material and US metric because you can basically if you check all of these you will basically get I don't know a bunch of like 20 basically the same libraries with the same units and just by choosing the metric and the imperial you get both the imperial and the metric libraries and that's that's what you want to have and just make sure that everything is checked you make sure you have enough disk space and you just hit install now because Revit is both downloading Revit and installing it at the same time. This might take a while but you don't really have to do anything after this point. So I'm just going to take a break, take a break, hit the gym and after I am finished this will all be over. And one hour and 20 minutes later this is what you get. Now depending on, on your computer speed as well as your internet connection this might take longer or shorter in your case but Anyway, this is what you get. Make sure you scroll down to see that everything is installed. And if for some reason some of these things aren't installed, I suggest you uninstall the software and then install it again. Because if you perhaps don't have content libraries in Revit 2019, you're going to have a hard time working in this software. So I'm just going to hit finish. 
and then you need to restart the system to configure everything so I'm just going to hit here no but I'm going to because I'm recording this of course but now I'm going to stop pause re or basically restart my computer and then we're going to check this out and see what we have okay so I've restarted my computer so we're back over here so I'm just going to double click this icon for Revit 2019 and open it up Ooh, some cool new graphics and here you're going to get this kind of a licensing agreement so you just have to agree I guess okay and this is what you get I really like the graphics they're much cleaner and you have your sample projects and let's just open one of them over here for a second and I'm going to be starting from next week I'm going to be doing some of the all of the new features of Revit 2019 and tutorials on those new features so you might want to subscribe in order to check that out that's going to be quite cool okay that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave a comment in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day